Thank you, students. Today, I'm teaching you the last lesson. Hey, students, nothing to worry. I'm just talking about the first chapter of Prose in Flamingo, the last lesson written by Alphonse Dodet. Please watch it. First brief introduction. The last lesson is a heart-touching story written by Alphonse Dodet during Franco and Persia war. In this war, France was defeated by Persians. After that, the Persian, they handed over the two districts of France, Alsace and Lorraine. And they restricted that there would be only German language in place of French. So what happened? How happens? Please listen carefully. In this story, there are two main characters. The first, little French. He is a student. He is very careless. And the second one is Mr. M. Hamel. He is a very disciplined and strict teacher. So now I am describing brief summary of the last lesson. The story begins with little French. He is afraid of going to school because he did not learn participants. Mr. M. Hamel has given this homework but he did not prepare at all. So number of thoughts came into his mind that he wanted to bunk the school, he wanted to enjoy the nature and other things which are tempting him. But suddenly he is scared that he must go to the school. In these all things he got late for the school. So he was in hurry. He rushed to the school hurriedly. When he was passing that uh, there is a bulletin board at the town hall. At the bulletin board that all the bad news is from last two years was broadcasting. Then he wanted to know what's the latest news. But there was a scare that he would be late for school. So he rushed to the school. When he was standing over there, then there is a minor character of black smith. He interrupted him. He said to him that little French, don't be in hurry. You have enough time in your hand. You are not late for your school. But little French, he doesn't want to mind him. So he rushed the school hurriedly. As he got late for the school, finally he reached the school and after reaching, he was so much scared with M. Hamel. But when he entered the school, then he got surprised. He was very much surprised that there was no noise at all. There was no hustle bustle of desk, just a pin drop silence. He was so surprised. It was looking that like a Sunday. Then, anyhow, that uh, he went to his class and asked the permission the M. Hamel. Then he was so much afraid that M. Hamel will scold him. But M. Hamel didn't say anything and permitted him to enter the class. Then, while he was entering, he was so surprised again that number of respected villagers were sitting in the class at the back benches. After seeing them, he was surprised. And he was also surprised that Mr. M. Hamel said him nothing. He was surprised with his polite behavior. Why didn't he scold him? And very politely, he talked to him and said to him, go and sit on your proper place. How it happened? He was so much surprised. After sitting, little friends saw that Mr. M. Hamel 
was wearing a special dress that he used to wear on special occasions or on the day of result declaration or any other that is special event in school so he was again surprised and in these all things during this lecture mr am hamel made an announcement it was a shocking announcement for the little french uh, like a thunderbolt not only for little french for the villagers also that it was the last lesson and the last day of m hamel in the same school as mr m hamel has given 40 years dedicated work sincerely he worked over there so after listening little french was very much overwhelmed now what to do he was speechless he was not able to speak a single word so at this he realized his own mistake that he was not able to read and write his own french language now mr m hamel also announced that in place of french language german language will be taught from very next day so the little french was very much disappointed as uh, he didn't know how to read and write french he was very much suffocated that why why did he he blamed himself and the children who used to play with him and his parents they were always asking him to do any work in fields and in their work so he was realizing all these things that in these all things he did not pay attention on his study on his native language same as the villagers were also very much suffocated they also wanted to learn more and more from m hamel and m hamel also wanted to teach more and more at the last day but nothing was in their hands it was the last day because that uh, the person handed over friend so all were very much disturbed and uh, mr m hamel he was also very much disturbed to these all because he has given 40 years so villagers were over there to pay tribute for his sincere 40 years work then during his this last day when uh, the little friend was sitting over there on the bench that on the roof there were pigeons they were doing gutter goo gutter goo gutter goo they were singing something so little french thought that they will be also singing in german language he was thinking so about the pigeons now what will happen that is all things going on now the little french understood all the things from bulletin board black smith and the class atmosphere school atmosphere and the dress up uh, of uh, m hamel and the that villager on the back benches so the picture was clear that everybody was there and everything was happening only for that they all want to pay their tribute to their native language french so he understood all the things and at the last mr m hamel he also note down on the board viva la france it means that france of amar ra and without speaking he said to all the students 
including villagers without speaking the last day the last lesson is over and the new the next day german teacher will be over there so it is the story of little french with m hamel and the moral of the story that when you have time in your hand then we procrastinate and procrastination is only providing that your destroy everything destroys with your procrastination so don't procrastinate when you have time then utilize it and love your country love your own native language so this is the moral of the story that love your own native language because if you waste your time then there is only regret nothing else so friends i hope you understood this story and uh, with the help of these main points try to note down something in your own words and i hope i'm sure damn sure that you will be able to note down if you understood the story then nothing to bother about question answer and these all things so if you like please share and subscribe early birds class if you are new this channel okay i'll meet you again next video till then jai hind jai bharat